Yo, what is up guys, Grey here, and today we have got just a chill showdown session in the OU tier using a fun team I made in like a few minutes. Uh, it's been doing okay on ladder, it dies to Volcarona, it literally just loses to it. But outside of that, it's pretty good. Uh, we're running Choice Band Urshfu and Choice Band Sizzle, and uh, we'll just get straight into the games. Uh, so, I feel like I've really not been performing particularly well in leagues recently. Uh, I didn't actually realise that Mew was allowed, that's kind of wild. Uh, I would assume it's like some kind of lead set on this team because it's very hyper offensive. Uh, I think Urshfu is my lead. Uh, yeah, so I've not been performing particularly well in leagues, so I kind of just wanted to... Uh, I wanted to build a team and just... I, I knew that was coming by the way. <laughs> uh, got into like the best possible switch in for it, but uh, we're just going to Shadow Ball and get rid of it. Uh, yeah, I've not been performing particularly well in leagues. It's been kind of frustrating for me because I feel like I can do so much better and uh, yeah it, it's frustrating because I really feel like I've gotten worse recently with how I play and I, I just want to get better again like I, I think I like haven't laddered for a long time just kind of a bit of a refresh use some different mods use some fun teams and uh, okay what's my Gengar Gengar has a pretty good match up here I kind of want to keep that around. Uh, I do think you're probably going to Swords Dance, but uh, honestly, I think going Mandibuzz is the safest play. Uh, so he just goes for a knockoff, knocks off my boots. All good. That's good with me. Uh, I just want a U turn. Because <laughs> I can U turn and go into my Urshifu and just click close combat. His team does not switch in well at all to it. I could also click Poison Jab, expecting the Primarines to come in. Uh, have I faced his team? I think I might have faced his team not long ago, actually. But uh, Bishop is kind of scary against my team. It's not like the worst thing. Uh, he actually just clicks Swords Dance. And he has to click Sucker Punch against my Urshifu. So, I'll 100% outspeed it. Um, I don't think he wants to stay in, but at the same time, because he's set up to plus two, knowing low ladder people, they might want to just stay in. I have my switch into Primarina being Clefable, so I'm not too worried about Clef, uh, about Primarina coming in, but certainly I am worried about a plus two Bishop, so <laughs> he does go Primarina, to be expected. Um, that is not defensive at all, so he actually 2 at KO with close combat. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> that's that's kind of really nuts. Um, so that's kind of his one check to Urshifu gone. And he's Rapid Strike. Wow, I have not actually seen this at all. In my entire time playing today, I have not seen Urshfu Rapid Strike. Um, if he wants to uh, go for anything, basically, if he wants to go for the water move there, then he's taking a lot of damage. I'm going to switch out and uh, just go back into... Do I want to go into Urshfu? If this is Choice Scarf, do I live a Boom Burst? I don't know if I do. I guess we can go Gengar. Now, Gengar's not as good now, especially after the rocks and life orb and stuff. Go and Gengar and just kind of scout out what he wants to do. I'm just going to click Shadow Ball. It's not Scarf, so that's good news. Um, potentially Shift Gear. It is Shift Gear. Uh, if that's the case, uh, it's in range of Bullet Punch, I would assume at this point. Uh, what's the most expendable thing? Is it Gengar? I feel like it's probably Gengar. Like, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's also on 4 HP now, so. Bullet Punch will pick it off, and he doesn't really have a great switch into Bullet Punch. If he wants to stay in, uh, wants to switch out even and preserve his Toxtricity for some reason, then that's also fine by me. Bullet Punch does a ton to Bishop that's going to be on like 60% after taking a Bullet Punch. He actually does switch out. Interesting. Um, yeah, he takes 30%. And uh, once again, do I go Mandibuzz? Definitely can go Mandibuzz. I want to keep this around just because he has some priority. Actually, I can 2 it KO this. If he wants to go for like a Swords Dance or something, then I 2 it KO this. Goes for the Iron Head, that's fine. Definitely expecting the switch out. I should go Bullet Punch again. He actually switches out into Urshifu. This is also going to take a good chunk. It takes 24, and I can go out into my Slowbro. If he wants to click U turn here, then that's fine by me. Honestly, this can't do much to me at all. So I'm just going to throw off a Toxic. You can keep bulking up as long as I hit this Toxic. I do, we're good. <laughs> Knowing me, I would have missed it. And uh, I'm just going to slack off. 
As he decides to surge and strikes, he's just going to die. I could have teleported actually and expected the Bisharp to come in. But really, I don't need the Slowbro for anything other than maybe Bisharp right now. So he goes down to Toxtricity. Uh, I'm going to scold. I don't want him to set up. I don't care about the Slowbro anymore. He's going to try and shift gear. So we're going to scold and take it out. There was no reason for me to preserve this, and he is just going to forfeit. Take that as a 5 0. We'll find another game. Uh, as long as we don't see Volcarona, basically, then we're good. I say that and immediately there's a Volcarona. This team is super frightening. Dragapult scares me, but I definitely have my ways of taking it on. Uh, Tokius is a bit of a problem. Do I think he's going to lead Tokius? I don't think he does. I'm going to lead Urshfu in case he leads a Dragapult. It is like my best way of dealing with Dragapult on my team. Um, outside of Mandibuzz, of course, but. It also immediately puts the pressure on him. I'm just going to Wicked Blow, expecting him to want to go out into like Dragapult or maybe Togekiss on the close combat. Um, I could have also U-turned, but this should do a good amount. Uh, that, that's still like 40%, we'll take it. I don't think he messes around with this, um, but I also don't think he has much to do with Gengar, so uh, he's going to Roost. He may go into his Magna Zone. I'm just going to click Nasty Plot, expecting him to switch here. If he goes into Dragapult, then that's a ballsy play. But I think he goes Magna Zone here and then probably Dragapult after. He actually stays in. Um, and air Slashes, does 50%. Uh, plus two Shadow Ball probably takes it out. Like, he can definitely switch out to Magna Zone here. Unless it's Scarf Magna Zone, and then we get the information. He does go into Magna Zone. I'm shocked that he stayed in, honestly. <laughs> I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball. If this is Scarf Mag Zone, then it should outspeed me and kill me. But we do get that information. Uh, it's not, and it's going to drop. So he can go Dragapult for sure, but I feel like he needs to go for the, like... Actually, he goes to Paldon. This is going to take a massive amount of damage from Shadow Ball. Like, this is really going to hurt. Interesting he didn't go into Dragapult. I would have definitely gone into it there. Um, we're going to do a very good amount to her power on. This goes for Rock Slide. Low Ladder scares me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand Low Ladder at all. And they're just going to forfeit. Okay. Volcarona still has a chance to reverse sweep me, so <laughs> I don't know why you'd forfeit, but we'll take those. We'll take those. I really feel like I need to get into a higher ladder before I start playing games on Showdown Lives. Jeez. I don't know why you would even like contemplate going for anything other than Earthquake on that turn. As we see yet another Volcarona. Um, got a very good core with Slowbro, Scizor and Clefable. Certainly I approve on his taste. Uh, there's not a lot here that deals with Gengar. Honestly I'm questioning why I have Thunderbolt and not Focus Blast on Gengar here. Let me change that. I think Focus Blast is just going to be better. I know it misses but I think it's going to be better generally. Uh, he does not have anything for Urshifu. I mean, he has Conkelda. He doesn't have much for Sizzle either, so we're going to leave Sizzle. As uh, so he leaves off with Clefable, this should be a switch out. So I'm going to click U turn. Like, Bullet Punch would do so much to it. Unless it's for Berry Berry. In before, it's a speedy Life Orb, Fire Blast, Clefable. I wouldn't be, wouldn't be mad at all if that was the set he decided to run. Like if I was to lose to uh, Speedy Clef, I'm all for it. But I'm going to start a timer. They're just taking taking too long. He goes Volcarona. Hopefully we don't get Flame Body. Okay, we don't. That's cool. And I can just go into Gengar. Gengar threatens this out. And he's probably going to go into his Tyranitar. So I'm just going to go into Urshfu. And I get a pretty free U-turn off again here. So he goes out into Conk. That's fine. I get a U-turn. And I can just go into Mandibuzz. I at least have to make him fear that I've got the... Uh, no, I've got uh, Brave Bird. As he actually just stays in. Interesting. I'm going to go into Slowbro. 
As he goes for Facade, that's not going to KO me. He's going to take Rocky Helmet, he's going to take everything, effectively. <laughs> and uh, do I expect like a knockoff coming out here? Potentially. Do I want to preserve this? It's not doing a whole lot for me outside of dealing with this. Um, I can actually live a facade, so I'm just going to sack off on the off chance that he decides to go for another facade. And I can go into my scissor and click bullet punch. It should do a KO for Corona, depending on its set, actually. Uh, I can go Gengar. Gengar is pretty safe. And just click Shadow Ball. I don't think he wants to stay in. As uh, so he goes out into Clefable, that takes half. And uh, now I'm just going to go for the Sludge Wave, I think. I could just Shadow Ball again. He could also just go out into Tyranitar. Don't really deal with Tyranitar particularly well. Um, I think I'm going to go into Sizzle. I'm expecting him to want to go Tyranitar. I'm shocked that he stayed in. And I'm just going to click Knock Off. This is a good chunk. In fact, it just knocks out Volcarona. Okay, that's like best case scenario. I think I did think like maybe he wants to go into Volk. Is it actually just forfeit? Okay, um, I did think he wanted to go into Volk, and that actually knock off should do a good chunk, if not take it out from there. And we see yet another Volcarona. This thing is everywhere. It's so annoying. Um, did I face his team yesterday? I think I faced his team yesterday actually. I definitely remember like PZ Volcarona, Zera Aura Blissey. Was there a Magnazone on that team? There might be Magnazone. Um, geez, uh, what do we lead off with? Um, I don't want to see Clef uh, see the uh, Zero Aura lead, so I'm just going to lead off with my Clef as he actually leads off with his Magnazone. I don't switch into this particularly well at all. Um, I need to keep this around for Zero Aura. Man, I think I needed just to lead off with like Scizor or something. I think that's, that was the biggest threat to my team. Um, what's the least valuable member? I think Gengar really doesn't do a lot for me. So he's just going to Volt Switch and that knocks me out, so it's definitely Specs. <laughs> specs Analytic, if I had to say. Uh, so he's going out into Zero Aura. And uh, this is why I wanted Clef to begin with. Honestly, not having Gengar around kind of sucks for this. Um. I could also go Urshfu and make him think that I am Choice Scarf, that's also an option. I could go Scizor and just knock off. I do quite like that. I go Scizor and U-turn. Like unless these, this thing's running like Blaze Kick. I don't think it is, but if it is, then yeah, U-turn's gonna do a good amount. And I can honestly just go Clefable. If he goes Volcarona afterwards, then uh Actually, like, my team loses to Zero Aura. I've just realized how bad it is against Zero Aura. I'm going to click Moonblast. This is going to do a good amount. Yeah, it does so much damage. I can pick it off with Moonblast. He probably goes into Magnazone. I need to win with my offense here. So, Zero Aura is the only thing that outspeeds my team. As he goes to Magnazone, to be expected. Uh, I'm just going to set up Stealth Rocks. It's going to take me out. I'm surprised actually that did so much damage. I guess it is a Magnazone. And it's Choice Specs. I expect Modest as well. So he goes Volk. Um, I have no choice but to go into Urshfu and click Wicked Blow. And it will pick up pick up a kill on anything other than Urshfu. As we take out like the biggest threat to our team, Volcarona. I think Urshfu can now just click into close combat. And pretty much win the game. I need to be careful though, I don't want to lose to this. Especially if it's Nasty Plot. Um, I'm going to assume it's Scarf the way he's brought it in. So I'm just going to go into Mandibuzz. Hyper Beam, okay. Um, but now I can lock myself into close combat, can't I? And just claim kills. So it was Scarf. Glad that I didn't <laughs> stay in. Um, losing Mandibuzz, that really kind of sucked. Um, do I have to win a speed tie? I don't want to be at minus defense. I'm going to slow bro. I think he's going to cl close combat. He has no reason to... Okay, he clicks Wicked Blow. That's ballsy move. Uh, I go Urshfu again. If this is locked in, then we just win. It goes Blissey. That's going to drop. Into Urshfu, and I think this comes down to a speed tie. And he wins it. 
So, good game. We lose to... Like, I, I don't know why you click Wicked Blow on that turn. I honestly don't. Like, I understand the mentality of, like, if I switch out, then it gets the kill. But if I just stayed in, he lost. He just straight up lost. So, interesting. But, you know, it is what it is. It's low ladder. There's bound to be people like that. Make him... I, I guess it was a ballsy play on his part. Certainly worked out for him. I should have just gone into my... Uh, gone into my... Uh, sizzle as a middle ground, but it's what it is. Uh, again, another Volcarona, Dragapult, Urshfu Core. I see a lot of this around, and he doesn't have a lot to deal with Urshfu, so I'm gonna lead off with it. See those off, leads off with Drill. I can just click Wicked Blow. Like he does not have a good switch into a Wicked Blow. This could also be just like your standard. Uh, Standard Sash set with like, was it Toxic? Well, from what I've seen, it's Toxic, uh, Rapid Spin, all that sort of stuff. So he decides to just go for the rocks, so he take out the drill. Uh, he's probably going to go into, I would assume, Ditto. He goes into his own Ashfu. And uh, we can go into Mandibuzz. Just goes for a close combat, that's not going to do a KO us. And uh, I think I just want to. Do I want to roost? I want to roost. I got it. Okay. It says Stone Edge. Interesting. Um, it's not choiced by any meat, by like any sense of it, so that's kind of nice to know. Um, I win this 1v1. So he goes down to Ditto and you're just going to see my moveset. It's most likely going to be Scarf, but there's nothing it can do to me. So I'm just going to click U turn and get the slow momentum. I, I don't know why you'd go Ditto there because, like, what are you going to do to me unless I have Toxic? Also goes into Dragapult, which is interesting. Uh, I go into Clef, and he really does not have a good switch into Clef. Like, he might go into Volcarona, but he does go to Ditto. And that's going to do a good chunk. Uh, honestly, I can just set up Rocks here. That's fine if he wants to T-Wave me. I set up Rocks, and I T-Wave in return as Volcarona comes in. And it's not Heavy Duty Boots. <laughs> That's kind of wild. And I think I want to go hard Urshfu. Yeah, I go hard Urshfu here. As he's going to quiver, that means that I'm now going to be able to outspeed and kill. Because the paralysis, Wicked Blow will take it out from here. 100%. Like, this is basically how I have to deal with Volcaronas every time. It's just paralyze it, get Urshfu in. Try and win. Uh, I can go Mandibuzz. How am I too KO'd? It did like 50%. Uh, what's... So I need Clef for Dragapult. I need... Uh, Mandibuzz actually for Crawdon. So I think Slowbro is the best, least necessary Mon on my team here. And if he wants to go for Stone Edge, he can go for Stone Edge. If he goes Wicked Blow, uh, he goes for Close Combat. I guess that's a middle ground on his part, but he's going to take Rocky Helmet and Life Orb. Definitely expecting the Wicked Blow to come in now. Um, Urshifu is kind of nice. I don't think I necessarily need it though. I don't need this for anything. He has Darkest... Why would you run Darkest Lariat? Am I missing something here? Why would you not run Wicked Blow? <laughs> this man doesn't know, it seems. And uh, honestly, now I could just go into Mandibuzz. I want to keep it healthy. So I'm just going to sizzle. It will take. It will die to whatever. Like I'm just going to click U-turn. Do I want to take that damage? I can just pull the punch. Yeah. Like he dies if he comes. If he switches out. He has darkest lariat for some reason. I'm just going to pull the punch. There's no point in overthinking this. It's low ladder. The man's got darkest lariat on his Urshifu, So <laughs> why I'm overthinking that, I do not know. As he goes out into Dragapult, um, I'm going to Bullet Punch this as well. Because <laughs> it's going to do a ton of damage. And uh, we're not too it carried by it. So, Bullet Punch again. If he wants to go into Ditto, that's fine. Honestly, I'm kind of happy for him to just kill me here. Am I happy for that? Like, there's no world in which his Crawdon should be able to beat the rest of my team. Um, he has to kind of lock into one move, so he locks into Bullet Punch. 
And knowing that, it's Choice Scarf as well, so it's not doing that much damage. Um, I think I go into Mandibuzz. Clear Mandibuzz and just click the U-turn. Um, honestly, I think I want to go Urshfu because it then stops the crawl on. This shouldn't do it, Kaomi. No. And, uh... Yeah, close combat should be able to take this out. If it has Aqua Jet on the Crawdon, he's not setting up. Which means that I can come in with my uh, my Gengar afterwards. Or I could go in with Sizzle, actually. Actually, Sizzle's too low. Yeah, that was a misplay. Um, I can go into Clef. And Moonblast, this should kill it. <laughs> they should, unless he gets the, like, all the powers, this should just kill it. So, uh... What's the time? 20 minutes? We'll do one more. We'll have one more. Hopefully no Volcarona this time. I'm sick of seeing that Mon. <laughs> I've seen so much Urshifu Volcarona, it's absurd. Uh, finally, no Urshifu or Volcarona, but we do see Clef Mandibuzz. Uh, Dragalge is really good against this meta. We do see Zera Aura, which is a bit annoying. But honestly, looking at this team, my Clef can, is the only... Like... It's not a check to it by any means, but it is also my, like, it doesn't work for anything else I was outside of Mandibuzz. It doesn't really do anything else. Um, I could lead Ash through here. I could also lead Sizzle. I think Sizzle's fine. It deals with most of his team outside of the Chandelure. And I can just click U-turn. Again, if it's clicking, if it's got Blaze Kick for some reason, then so be it. It turns out to have Volt Switch. I think that might be like an AV set or something. Be interesting to see what he goes into on Sizzle. It isn't a Mandibuzz. It's still going to hurt. That does a lot. It was, okay, it was a crit. But that still does a lot of damage. He does not have an Urshifu switch in. Um, realistically, I think I just want to click Poison Jab. It should knock out Mandibuzz from this range. It also... Uh, I could also click Close Combat. You know what? I don't want to... Okay, he sends in Dragalge. That's interesting. Uh, what is my where is my switch into this? <laughs> it doesn't exist. Uh, what's yeah? Like, I, I I genuinely don't have a switch in. I don't think he goes for the poison type move just because I got. Uh, does he go? I don't know what he goes for here. <laughs> I honestly don't. I think he'll go for the poison move to catch Clef. I don't think he goes for a dragon type move. So I'm gonna go sizzle. Uh, so he goes for flip turn, okay. You could bring in Shandy. I like, definitely expect to see Shandy come in. I can go into Mandibuzz though and it should be able to check it just fine. Uh, outside of that, like Chandler, it, it, like, I don't know, blunder policy Chandler may be a problem. But it could be choice Scarf Shandy as well actually. Scarf Chandler would be a bit of an issue but my Mandibuzz should be able to constantly wall it. I'm going to turn timer on. It's taking far too long to pick his move after his flip turn. As he does go into Chandelure, that's fine. I get Mandibuzz. Unless this is like modest specs, I don't think it's going to be able to 2-hit KO. It goes for Overheat. Okay, that definitely does 2-hit KO. Uh, yikes, that did, <laughs> that did a lot of damage. Um, he's at minus two. That did so much damage, Jesus. Uh, do I want to let Mandibuzz go down? My Mandibuzz will outspeed his Mandibuzz, so I'm going to go with Urshfu. I'm going to go with Urshfu and just click Wicked Blow. Uh, yeah, I should, should knock it out from there. Uh, as he goes into Clef, that's to be kind of expected. Uh, he has tried to make reads in this game, so he's probably just going to go for teleport. How much do I need my Urshifu here? Just kill Dragalge. I struggle to deal with Dragalge otherwise. Um, I think I go Mandibuzz, because I, at this point I can just kind of sack it. Um, he just goes for Moonblast, so that's fine. And honestly, Sizzle gets a pretty free bullet punch. I could also click Knock Off. I think that's what I want to do. I just want to click knock off here. Because nothing wants to switch it into this anymore. Now his Mandibuzz is gone. He doesn't Dragalge. I think this might just kill. Yeah. That was Black Sludge. 
And he has to go back into Chandelure, and at this point, he has no reason not to get a ghost type move. Uh, I mean, Sizzle still has a role to play in this game. It's getting close to just being able to click Bullet Punch. Slowbro honestly does nothing for me. Uh, this is probably why Slowbro isn't in OU anymore. I think it's UU by usage. Like, it really just doesn't do a lot. It, it deals with, like, Urshu Rapid Strike. She goes for Flamethrower. That's awesome. Uh, and that means I can just get a teleport. So it goes into Zero Aura. Uh, do I want to go Gengar? What are these things even running anymore? Uh, what's this switch into Clef? He doesn't really have a switch into Clef. Uh, do I want to set up rocks? I'm just going to set up rocks. This may just want to go for a Volt Switch and go into like Rillaboom or something. But it doesn't have way, any way of removing the rocks, so at least we're doing damage to Chandelure every time it comes in. Like, Zero Aura is just a big problem for my team, but I think I could probably sack, um, sack my Slowbro in exchange for it. As he lets me set up rocks for free and I get a Moonblast off. Like, judging from that damage, Plasma Fist is not going to be able to knock me out. So he goes for Volt Switch. Something's got to take a Moonblast. If it's a Chandelure, then that's kind of fine by me. It takes Moonblast plus Rocks. Um, we could bring in Clef. And honestly, we just stare at each other with Clef. <laughs> Have we seen a move on this? Just Moonblast. Maybe Moonblast, Wish, Protect, Teleport, something along those lines. Rillaboom's going to take uh, Rocks plus Moonblast. It takes a good chunk as well. And I can kind of just go into Sizzle. I don't think it really does much to Sizzle. If he goes for Grassy Glide, it's certainly not. Woodhammer, that's a 2 at KO. But Bullet Punch may well knock it out from it. I think I'm asking a lot of Sizzle. Never mind, I'm not. <laughs> so he goes back into Shandy. Do I just want to Bullet Punch for damage? I could Bullet Punch for damage. Uh, I still have Gengar to deal with the Clefable. So I think I may want, want to just go for Bullet Punch and see what he locks himself into. I could also just go Urshfu. I don't think it's necessarily doing enough for me to want it, to warrant keeping it around. So yeah, I'm just going to go Urshfu. So it goes for Hex. So he, we did make the right play there. And honestly, I see no reason not to go for it. I could go with Poison Jab. I'm just going to click Wicked Blow. If Clef comes in, if it's not defensive, it's going to really not want to take this hit. Or we could just go Poison Jab and do damage. Yeah, I'm going to click Poison Jab. Like, it's still going to do a lot. We actually get a crit. What do we do? 47 with the crit? Uh, I'm kind of happy of sacking Urshifu here. And then we can come in and click Bullet Punch. Never mind, it's going to drop to... Like, if we could, we could blow, Wicked Blow, we'd be in a better place. Like That could have been my play, but I didn't want Clef coming in for free. Uh, here I'm just going to go Sizzle. If he goes Zara Aura, I still click Bullet Punch. I just I really want damage on this. And Gengar can still deal with uh Clefable, like I said. If he goes for Volt Switch, then uh Gengar gets a kill. I'm getting a good chunk off. So he goes for Plasma Fist, that's fine. Um and now I can go Clef and click Moonblast. And if he goes into Clefable, I think we just go uh hard into uh, so that's not going to take it out. Uh, I think he's potentially going to Plasma Fists here. So I'm going to go Slowbro. If he doesn't click Plasma Fists, then uh, that's that's unfortunate. But I'm going to go Slowbro, so he should die to the Rocky Helmet. He actually gets Volt Switch. Yikes. But that does give me 
Gengar for free. And I just click Sludge Wave. It clicks Knock Off. Wow, I did not realize these things are running Knock Off. Uh, that's unfortunate. Can I... Uh, Slowbro can live one, so yeah, I just click Sludge Wave. I guess a spe <laughs> special attack drop, but I don't think it's going to matter. Just click Sludge Wave again, and False Switch doesn't knock off, doesn't knock out my. Uh, oh, my, no, I'm done. That's rocks. Um, so, yeah, we win that one 3 0. I think we played the end game pretty well, but um, maybe not wicked blowing the chandelier was a mistake. I don't know. I think we played it alright, but I don't know where we are on ladder. I should probably just check this. Let's have a look. OU, uh, Gen 7, Gen 8, uh, yeah, we're 1385, 20 and 5 is not bad. Um, so we're kind of still low ladder, but we're kind of moving up a little bit. Um, if you did enjoy the video, then please do leave a like. I'm going to hopefully be doing more showdown lives uh, with different teams. I'm probably going to go and nick some teams from other YouTubers that uh, do this more often, because I don't really have the time to uh, go through and build teams. But... Uh, this team was a lot of fun to use. It's not exactly the best team, and you have to kind of play around things like Volcarona, Zoomeril, Dragapult, um, Bisharp as well. So there's a lot of things you have to play around, but it's still a fun team. Um, I'll leave a paste for it down in the description below. And uh, yeah, until the next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.